It's the resonance of the harp, and they've done a lot of research of harp therapy and how it can slow down or stabilize heart rhythms. I was playing at the hospital, and this man came and he just stood beside me, and he just stood there. And I finished playing, and he goes, oh, thank you so much. My stress level was up here, and now it's down here. About 15 years ago, Dawn surprised me totally out of the blue with a harp book. And I thought, what's this? <laughs> anyway, he had had a uh, lesson set up with somebody who used to live here in Quenelle. And I rented a harp for four or five months and then bought my own. The little community of Wells, an hour out of Quenelle, has an amazing harp school. Every year, for about 27, 28 years, they've had this school, and people come from all over the world. The first year, my instructor came from Israel to teach at Wells. People there had taken this harp therapy course, and it wasn't something I'd ever heard of. They had different people. Some had already graduated from the program, and they said it was the most rewarding thing they had ever done, and I thought, Really? Don't you have a life? <laughs> and that's honestly my thought. So I started it and as part of my program I had to play at the bedside for a hundred different patients. Yeah, they are so right. There's probably nothing more rewarding that I've ever done than playing at the bedside. It's just brings joy to my heart to give joy to others and to volunteer and give back to our community. It's just a wonderful feeling. For therapeutic music, I play in the chemo ward at the hospital as well as upstairs on the third floor where all the patients are. And the music is very good for patients, for their families, they're stressed too, as well as the staff. Staff are busy and sometimes run off their feet. One day I was playing up on the third floor and a bunch of nurses um, came and stood, put their head on their hand around the desk at the nurse's station and just stood there just absorbing it in so yeah just lots of special special memories with special people along the way many of them I'll never see again but you know the music has touched them in a deep way you have to observe the patient you can tell a lot by their face um, if or if they're starting to relax you go okay this kind of music is working well for them or not and change it in the moment. That's why the live music is so important because you can change on the spur of the moment. Recorded music, you can't 